Okay, is this uh, Mr. Lockhart? Uh, Jamil Lockhart? All right, Mr. Lockhart, you, we've already, have we had this discussion before? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going here on behalf of the defendant, Jamil Lockhart, and they're making a special appearance. All right, well, you got to make your special appearance to the Wayne County Jail. I told you that the last time. Um, yeah, so I filed a, a notice of removal for all of these cases because uh, I don't believe that um, you know this court is capable of acting in, a, in an unbiased way. Um, but I mean, there's been no response from the city, you know, to this point. I mean, I mean, just the last last court date we had, perjury was committed. I mean, you guys put on the record that I failed to appear. And I spoke to you. Yeah, you did fail to show up to the Wayne County Jail. You were ordered to do 30 days in the Wayne County Jail. You haven't showed up. You still haven't showed up. So you are still disappointed that I failed still to disobeying. No, Let's not do this. This is how it started the last time. You're still disobeying the court's order. And you have to do 30 days. You have to uh, 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 present yourself to the Wayne County Jail. You have a warrant out for your arrest. And before we go over this other stuff, you got to go. Uh, you have to go uh, to the Wayne County Jail, all right? Yeah. Okay, sir. So, well, uh, I, I said what I. What I, 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 I can. I can increase the time if you can. If yeah. you can to not be compliant. Your Honor, I apologize for interrupting the proceedings. May I have a breakout room with um, this litigant, please? And thank you. I don't know if he wants to speak to a lawyer, but he can if he needs to. If he, if he has that right to do so. You want to speak to the lawyer, Mr. Lockhart, or no? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Join the room, please. All right, and that'll conclude it. I still see Mr. Lockhart here. Uh, you know, I don't know what else to do. What else any you can do for him, Mrs. Harris? He so you're continues, right. She continues to disobey the court order. Just continues to do so. Okay. And your honor, I I dare not say. Well, I. I don't know. I don't think that it's an intentional. Well, I can't That's say that. Wait I, a minute. I, I don't so think. I, I'm going to take right. that back. I'm going to take that huh? back. I think he has good intentions. I think he now has a better understanding of everything that has taken place. I don't think so. Because he came in here talking about he's appearing on behalf of the person, Jameer Lockhart. So I think he's on the same path as he was that got him into this situation. And Your Honor, we've, we've had that discussion at length in the breakout room. Um, he understands what it would take to resolve his matters. He understands how he has to represent himself in court. And so I think he's in a position that he wants to resolve these matters. We've had the discussion. We asked for leniency and mercy from the court. Um, I understand if, if the condition is that he still has to do 30 days in the Wayne County Jail, although we would ask if the court would reconsider that sentence now that he has taken the time to actually listen to advice of counsel and be made fully aware of how he should present himself in court. Um, I, I know that it's his intention to resolve these matters without any further court appearances or draining any further resources or delaying the process anymore. And I know that the court doesn't want to delay the process any further. I understand his behavior is what put us in this position as of right now, but we're just hoping to resolve today if the court will allow. I'm not going to, I'm not moving. I gave him ample, it's a 27 plus 
maybe 30 plus minute video. I gave him ample, ample, ample opportunity. You know, and um, I'm not moving. I mean, Your Honor, I mean, in that video, it, it did, I did apologize to you for, it's I guess. Yeah, you apologize after you got the 30 days. I'm not yeah, I apologize after the offense was. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else I would apologize. Not, you and, and and you still haven't showed up, and it's been over a year, and uh, and now you want me to have some sympathy for you and to resolve the matters. I have no sympathy for you at all. Mm -hmm. I tried to discuss. We tried to have a we uh, give you a fair opportunity. To be heard, you you keep spewing these legal theories that I've never heard of before, and um, you know, I've given you an opportunity at that date to speak with the lawyer. You refuse that. You refuse all the opportunities I've given you. And you came in here another time, um, a couple of months ago, and I told you we weren't going to hear it then. You got to go do report to the Wayne County Jail. Mm -hmm. so you've had ample, you'd have you've had me, ample opportunity. You, you'd have me go to jail. No, uh, on behalf of Jimmy O. Lockhart, I do understand that, and I, I know the court he may hear this often, but he does have a family that he supports. It, it would be a great hardship on his family, his resources, um, and his sense of economy in terms of his job if he would have to submit himself to 30 days in the Wayne County Jail. I understand that the court is not inclined to change that. I didn't just, I didn't, you know, I didn't just give him the 30 days on the, I, he should have thought about that when I was asking him, I let him speak when I was asking him to not be, to not try to over talk the court, let me give an opportunity to speak. He continued to disobey that. He should have thought about that then. There's a whole lot of people up in the penitentiary that have uh, families that they take care of. And he's not going to the penitentiary. It's just county jail. So I'm just not moved. Would, would this court consider amending it in such a way that he, possibly he could only do weekends to complete his 30 days? Yeah, well, he hasn't even come to done anything. I'm not inclined to do anything for Mr. Jameer Lockhart or the person of Jameer Lockhart or wherever, whatever he wants to be called or however he wants to be described himself. Jameel, excuse me, Jameel Lockhart. So yeah, he has the matters that are set on the docket for today. He has he has presented himself to the court today. Okay, you want to take a off. we'll we'll take off the warrant, we'll give him a pretrial date, and then he can um go do his 30 days and he can tell the tell the sheriff in there that what his what his next court date is, and they can or somebody can rid him out then. City of Detroit versus uh Jamil Amir Lockhart, case numbers. SP 1247989 counts one, two, and three. State of Michigan. Now the laws just don't apply to him. State of Michigan versus uh, uh, Jamil Amir Lockhart, case number SX 37829611. Appearance for the record, please. Sherika Harris, on behalf of Jamil Lockhart, sir, could you state the name of the person that you are representing on the record, please, or that you identify, please? Um, so my name is Jamil Lockhart. For purposes of arraignment, Your Honor, uh, my client would stand mute, but we would ask if the court could read the charges, please and thank you, so right, that Mr. Um, Lockhart is aware of what he is charged with and the nature of the charges. This also called SP-121-8072, counts one and counts two into the record as well. 
Um, the uh, SB 1218-0721 has a been licensed and proper. Uh, license and proper, um, that's a maximum possible penalty is 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. And account two of that is a no insurance misdemeanor, maximum possible penalty 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP124-7989 counts one, unregistered, untitled, maximum possible penalty 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. SP two of that is an improper license, a maximum possible penalty 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. Count three of that is a no insurance, maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail, and or five dollars fine. And SX3729611, um, that's an improper license, uh, maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail, and or five dollars in fines. He's got an expired plate that's in default that I'm not going to set aside. He owes $174 on that. I'll, uh, as for uh, purposes of arraignment, counsel. Well, again, Your Honor, Jamil Lockhart would stand mute. Ask that the court would enter a not guilty plea at this time on his behalf. Mr. Lockhart, I hope you're recalling these are all things that we discussed in the breakout room. I told you how the process works. All right, I'll enter a not guilty plea on his behalf. I'll give him a zero dollar bond. We'll set a pretrial in the matter. For 9 22 2023 at 8 30 a.m all right yeah there is currently a recommendation if the court would allow a plea no. he's gonna have to go do the time so sir as we discussed I think you would be better suited if you, one, hire an attorney, two, go to the Wayne County Jail and submit yourself so that we can, your matters could be resolved. I understand last, that when you were time, court, there's different He didn't want an attorney. And I, I guess you have gotten through to him a little bit. He changed it. He's not, he came in here. Um, hearing on behalf of the person, Jameer Lockhart, and then when he asked him to state his name, he came and he indicated that he was Jameer Lockhart now. So I don't know, I don't know what he, what he, um, I can say. I mean, if, if I can speak a little bit here. Um, I don't know, Your Honor, I, um, I'm not a criminal. Um, I just want to handle this, get this over with. Um, I didn't say you were a criminal, sir. I didn't listen. No, I know you didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say you were a criminal. As it stands now, these are allegations. So until until there's a, 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 a an adjudication of either guilt or not guilt, that'll determine you know whether you're a criminal or not. So I don't know. You got these allegations out here. So I didn't make that comment. You were a criminal. Right. Right. No, I'm not saying that you did. Um, but. I just want to handle this and, um, you know, put this to rest. Um, you know, at this point, I feel like it's taken up too much of my time, too much of, you know, your time, I'm sure. And, no, uh, you know, this is what I do every, this is what I do every day, sir. I serve the, I serve the, uh, city, the presidents of the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan and whoever comes in here. So it doesn't take up my time. This is uh, what we do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and continuing, I would just like to, you know, get this over with, you know, pay whatever fines need to be paid. I would like to have my license back. You know, I can't rent a car when I travel, you know, I would like to be able to do that. So whatever I owe for these civil offenses. Um, uh, uh, last year, over a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I just want to resolve this. Whatever I owe for those offenses, you know, I'm willing to pay. And um, it'll be done with this situation. I don't, I truthfully don't think it's your, you know, mission to put people in jail that have not harmed anybody or committed any offense against, you know, any actual live human being. I'm only guilty of speaking out of turn, 
And, um, you know, I should have handled this differently. You know, I'm, I can see that now, you know, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really just want to get this whole situation rectified and whatever the charges are that I need to pay, I'm willing to do that and I'll put this to rest. All right, I'll let them speak. Next pretrial date is um, September 22nd. Yeah, well, based with, on with based that, on the statements. That, that being said, I I don't think you know, based on everything that has happened, um, our history, um, the, the claim in federal court that I have against you, Michigan judicial tenure uh, complaints that I have against you. I think you have a duty to recuse yourself from any of my cases. I haven't, I haven't been privy to any judicial tenure um, um, complaint. Um, my my first duty is a duty to sit. Um, and um, I, I feel that I can put it in your mailbox. Okay. Well, all right. Well, the Judicial Tenure Commission will have to come. And they'll 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 uh, I'll have to respond to them accordingly if they if they present something to me. Okay. All right. Have a great day, sir. Next court date nine twenty two. You're still expected to uh, uh, to um, uh, turn yourself into the Wayne County Jail. Well, Your Honor, I I would ask. One one final argument. I understand that he may have indicated he did not want an attorney to represent him. Jail time is a very harsh penalty. And I know that the court didn't just immediately um, come to that decision. I would ask if the court would consider some of the things that were stated on the record in terms of he now has a better understanding. He is remor remorseful of how things played out. And I would ask if the court would issue a monetary fine for the contempt rather than jail. If the and, court, please. And he's got a proceeding in federal court against him. So what, 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 where is it, you know, where is this, uh, that, that I, I, I'm, I'm simply trying to protect. But again, protect your honor, my, but again, my, your my, honor my, Mr. Right, Mr. Lockhart, a, and, um, on behalf of a, Mr. Lockhart, stop, 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 time. stop. What I'm saying, the court has to be has to understand the fact that a lot of these things came into play before today. So if in, in fact there was something filed, it was before today, before having a better understanding of how the process works, how to conduct oneself in court, and that one is held to the same standards as an attorney. I would ask if the court would consider converting that jail term into a monetary fine. Not at this point. Your yeah, Honor, I only have a federal claim against you as a as a means to try to keep myself out of jail, right? It, it's, it's not something that, that I want to do. You know, you can take any action. You can take any action under the law that you choose to, sir. I haven't prevented you, or even tried to even attempt to prevent you, and I can't prevent you. From, from doing I don't want to do that. I just want to handle this, pay whatever I need to pay, and and move on. Well, you know, again, not, advocating not on behalf of he needs to be sitting in jail. I'm I'm an upstanding individual. I have a lot of people that depend on me, and well, I haven't harmed anyone, and I never would. Understood. Thank you for that allocation. But on behalf of we, defense, would now move to ask if the court would allow a hearing on the contempt proceedings. That hearing has sailed. He has been gone. He has what thirty days to for the hearing. Procedurally, that has sailed a long time ago. He so he already showed, had a hearing on it. No, you. We asked him offered a hearing on that. We offered him an attorney on that before we entered into the uh, uh, found him in contempt. We offered him to speak with the lawyer on that day. He he chose not to. It's been over, I would say, 
um, quite frankly, a year at least. The motion he was he was going to file a motion by 527 2022. Um, um, I, it's it's been it's been a long time. Those things have those ships have sailed. But your honor, arguably he didn't have the assistance of counsel. So I would ask, did did we go through all of the steps for him to waive his right to counsel in that type of proceeding? Well, you can go back and look at the transcript. If you want, if you want, if he wants some representation now, he can either be a kind of court appointed director, a lawyer, or he can hire a lawyer on his own. But at this, at this, at this juncture, I'm not inclined, you know, I I get people tell me I'm too lenient and I'm I'm a defense judge and I'm I try to be fair to everybody that comes through here. I gave Mr. Lockhart and I'm giving Mr. Lockhart now uh, over a half hour when other people only get five minutes to speak. I gave him ample time today and back when he came in court the, the last time. And you say that he's changed, but he came into court today Spewing the same stuff that he said he started out before he talked to you that he did when he was there. I read those motions that he filed, which was in the court's eyes, had no basis in law whatsoever. None. I've never seen those legal theories that he's purporting. I don't know if you, uh, well, let me strike that. I've seen those legal theories that, that he's reported, but I've never uh, seen those in the rules of, uh, of, 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 of court rules. I've never seen that in um, any of the uh, uh, law books that I've ever read. So I told him this back then, that he needs to go get the rules. I gave him an opportunity to read the rules of procedure. He refused everything. Now, is the transcript of it, it uh, you can order the transcript. He can hire his own lawyer, and he'll get whatever kind of hearing that he will get. I'm not going to refuse myself from the case. Understood, Your Honor. Okay. That was nothing so further. Very well. Next court day, September 22nd, 2023, will be a pre-trial. Have a very good day, sir. And again, your your word to, 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 to turn yourself into the Wayne County Jail. Okay. Have a great day.